Anyway, you might notice, or you might not notice, that I'm in light armor. There's a reason I'm doing that. And that is because I am so utterly convinced that the tech gadgets from the factory will give such an overwhelming advantage to us when we play these missions that I'm going to do this one in light armor. G'day people, welcome back to our ultimate Iron Man series. Oh, I nearly got it right that time. <laughs> One day. So I made it back down with the CV to our next mission, which is the Biolab. I cleared a bit of an area around my drone. Um, so I added some minigun turrets to the CV very clumsily. They'll be removed as soon as we're done with this. Cleared a big area of trees with the beasts grinders, this side and the other side. Part of the beast there, so that's protecting the approach from that way. The back of the CV is protecting, attract, protecting the approach over there. And the armadillo with its miniguns is protecting the approach from this side. So we're pretty much covered over here. Um, don't see any need to go over to the back of the building, so I'm not going to bother with that. But yeah, they keep firing every now and then, so they're taking things down, which is good. I've heard it take down a few mechs as well uh, recently, so there's more than just the overseers out there. There's more than the, the overseers out there. Should be a line from a horror movie, shouldn't it? Speaking of horror movies, there are some hideous noises on this planet. Hideous. Anyway, you might notice, or you might not notice, that I'm in light armour. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. I have had to put two radiation boosts on though because the radiationized planet is 9.8 and my light armor just won't handle it. Um, there's a reason I'm doing that. And that is because I am so utterly convinced that the tech gadgets from the factory will give such an overwhelming advantage to us when we play these missions that I'm going to do this one in light armor. Now bear in mind this is mission four so it you know they're, they're getting progressively more difficult so this one should be one of the toughest missions we've done so far also I've never set foot in this bio lab before so I don't know the layout I don't know where the core is um, yeah so it should be tricky in that respect as well but yeah I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and do this in light armor so yeah it is a tech fest <laughs> let's try it so I've already scouted out the initial doorway, which is there. I opened that doorway and my drone got blasted by a turret. So, uh, but I could actually get the turret with my sniper rifle from there, so I got rid of that. I have checked all this area just to save a bit of time. I didn't find any traps or hidden spawners. There is a sensor there, which opens a trap door there, which I believe will just reveal a turret. I, I can't imagine there being anything else down there, or in there, I should say. I've thoroughly checked this room, there are no hidden spawners, there's a spawner there, there's a spawner there. This goes around the corner here and there is a turret on the wall over there, whip, whip past. There doesn't seem to be a lot over this side, just some loot crates. So I'm not going to worry about that, but it looks like the way I need to go after I've disposed of these spawn pads is this way. And there's another spawner down here with a lift at the end. And, I, and this is about as far as I got on my drone. I know what I'm going to do with the tech at, on this level. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take me either. It could take a long time or the core could be in the next floor down. I really don't know. I've never been here before. Uh, what I'm going to do though, uh, because, because I need to search pretty much every square inch of these rooms for hidden spawn pads because I'm in light armor and for traps, because if I fall down a trap into a hot room full of hostiles, I'm going to die almost instantly. Um, if I get caught by a couple of hidden spawn pads in light armor, I'm probably going to die almost instantly. So doing it in light armor has its drawbacks in that I do need to thoroughly, thoroughly search a room before I enter it or before I put a 
a gadget in the room to clear it or gadgets to block off things. Uh, so that's going to be probably a little bit time consuming. So what I'll probably do is make a few cuts during the video um, or fast forward bits just to keep keep it going and so that the video is not too long at the end because otherwise it could get a bit tedious. Um, my stats are two deaths still. That first death was in the when we when I discovered that for mission two was had the bug corn and it couldn't be destroyed and I was trapped down in the basement with all the scorpions that had respawned. Um, the second death was the legit death in mission three where I did a a Butch Cassidy and the Sundance kid into the core room <laughs> and didn't work out very well. It pretty much worked out the same as it did for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance kid in fact. So yeah. Okay, well what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get into the building. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot around here. There's a, there's a couple of turrets. There's one under that cover there and one on this corner or that corner. Got my jetpack on. I do have my jetpack on. I parked the Mantis there just so I can get back out again if I need to in a rush. So this should be all pretty much good to go. I'm fully expecting a turret to open up there, which I just heard the trapdoor go. Now one of my other objectives is to not take a single point of damage during this mission. Now that did I bring food? I did bring food. That could be difficult because occasionally you've just got to get in front of a turret to get rid of it. Um, what I'm going to try and do though is get the turret pointed in the wrong direction before I try and dispose of it and that will give me an opportunity to um, get rid of it. I think that's about as far as I can get it. So if I leg it in here with this, that worked. Good. So what I'm going to do now, I like I said, I pretty much know what I'm going to do in this room. Um, let's pop those to there and get some of these in. Now I went into creative, my creative game, and played around with a lot of gadgets between episodes. And I've developed a couple of new ones. <laughs> I'll try and display most of them or all of them during this. Uh, what I'm going to do first is... So this is all the tech that I've put through at the moment that I, I'm, I'm going to be utilising. So I'm going to block off these two spawn pads initially. I'll build those up in a minute. Around the corner here, I'm going to stick one of my pillboxes. Um, which direction? That's the wrong way round. So I need to be facing. Do, 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 do. That way. And I, what I'm going to do is, is just block off that corridor. So when something does spawn, it doesn't wander up and kill me. Um, I want to be able to kill the spawner, so I'm going to block it off down here. So I've got a good, I've got a line of sight to the spawner. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to build these up slightly um, just to, to block off those two spawners and block off this corridor properly. <clears throat> and I'm back here within in just a moment. So later. Welcome back. Okay, so let's head down there. See if I get killed. Okay, so we've got some spawns. Let's see what we've got. Should keep an eye on the sky in case a patrol vessel comes around. What have we got? Only one spawn. Shotgun. Should spawn two, shouldn't it? If I built it not close enough and it spawned outside. Make sure it hasn't walked around here. Seems unusual that one spawned. Hmm. Okay, it's worrying me a little. Shotgun as well, light armor. I would be dead. Nothing has spawned there yet. Okay, let's. 
see if I'm going to end in tears already. That's weird. Why is nothing spawned? That's really strange. Really strange. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain too much. What I'm going to do is take out that spawn pad. Double check. See, things have a um, habit of disappearing in this game as well recently as well. There's a few things that I've seen that's actually there, but you can't see it. Um, that's really worrying. Okay, well, let's one down. Let's deal with this one. There's still just one guy in there. Yeah, definitely just the one, isn't it? Okay. Okay, show me your legs, buddy. Show me your legs. Very careful. If he gets a shot at me, I could be could be a goner. Come on. Okay. Done. I'll grab you, Sani. Thanks very much. And before I take this apart, yeah, just checking, making sure there's nothing else. Um, I'm just going to double check around here that it was the case that nothing else actually spawned. No, it would seem not. Okay, so we're good with that. <clears throat> What's happening around here? Nothing at the moment. Okay. So what I'll do before I head down to the next one is, <clears throat> or if I need to, I can come back and take these apart and, and recycle. I do want to get rid of that. Well, I can hear mechs now. Where have they spawned? Not sure. I mean, I'm fairly certain there are no hidden spawners down here. Oh, is it climbing on top of the other guy? Oh, that was silly. I put that the wrong way around. Um, okay, I can deal with that. I can just remove those blocks. And drop him down. Again, only one spawned. That's really weird. Guns poking through. Does that mean he's going to be able to shoot me? Do you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's do that. Only one. Um. I'm not going to worry about that turret around there because I don't think there's anything around there apart from loot. And I don't really need loot yet. It looks like we have to go this way. So I need to get to this guy's head. There he is. I'll save my laser ammo. Oh, there is another one. Okay, let's get that spawn pad. <clears throat> okay, so we cleared this floor without any damage whatsoever. I'll take those. I'm going to thin all this stuff because I really can't carry a lot. I brought the medium armor because environmentals. 
uh, my light armor suit. I've only got. I'm, I should be covered with the rads now with two radiation protections on it. I'm up to 10. It's 9.8 rads on this planet. But I'm only down to minus 10 degrees, and it can get pretty cold on this planet as well. So if I start getting hit by environmentals, um, another one of my techs is a little armor locker. <laughs> I can just drop that down, and I can change into a medium armor just so that I can withstand the environmentals. Now, I think I checked along here as well, didn't I? Yeah. Right, so that walkway is damaged, so it means we should be able to break through that. Okay, let's see what's here. Got a lift going down there. Oh, we've got a turret there. It's beyond that grate, so it shouldn't be able to shoot us. We got anything else here? No traps. No. So what's behind there then? Loot crates, definitely. Can I blow that with an explosive? I can't place it with that guy. Um, it shouldn't be able to shoot me through there, should it? Sounded like we got it. Yep, yeah, good. Okay. So what's in here then? I see those and I just think hidden spawners worries me a lot. It's just a loot room, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. Doesn't seem to be any hidden passageways either. So it looks like we've got to go down the lift. So let's see what's down here. Turret down the end there, so I guess I can come in and hide behind that. Okay. Oh, we've got a turret there as well. Okay, so we've got a spawn. There was a spawn pad down there, and there's a turret down there. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this room that I could see. And there's a door down there, so it looks like we've got to maybe go that way. Can I peek up here without shooting me? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I know what I'm going to do in this room then. I know what I'm doing in here. That's one of my miniguns. You'll like this one. You'll like this one. Um, now, I want to be able to shoot everything, so... That there should do it. Get my blocks. You, oh, you'll like this. <laughs> so what I want to do is is control these. Um, control this minigun myself and so that I can destroy the turrets. But you can't do that via your drone. So what I need to do is <clears throat> is build this to a point where I can get to it. It should work. I I mean it I sort of tested it. In, the, in my creative game it worked, but then lots of things work in creative that don't work in other games. So let's get rid of the drone. So if I go like that, and then grab one of my passenger seats. You must be able to see where this is going now. Pop that there. Jump in the passenger seat. seat. I can actually, because I'm in a passenger seat or a cockpit, I can access that minigun. Um, so what I want is I want that active, but I want the power off at the moment. Because I don't want the turrets to start shooting at me until the last moment. So let's pop a little bit of power in, shouldn't need much. Let's 
just pop a very small amount of ammo in there because this shouldn't need much. There were only two turrets, two spawn pads, so we should only need a few rounds really. Um, so I don't want too many rounds to go into the gun. So that's 47 should should do it. So what we've got to do now is power it on, jump into the turret before it gets destroyed by the, the sentry turret. So boom. Access. Load. Oh, they turn so slowly, don't they? Okay, so we can destroy the spawn pads. And then we can investigate the room with this. But it didn't look like there was anything else. In fact, we can just leave that gun active now. Um, take away my seat. And do that with the drone and have a quick look, in, look with the drone. Just to make sure there are no traps in the floor or anything like that. If I could aim the drone properly. So I'm really pleased that worked. That's, um, like I said, tested that in creative mode, but it's the first time I've actually tried it in in a real game. Um, yeah, and that worked a treat. So what I'm going to do now is just have a quick scan round for any traps or hidden spawn pads. Looks like it should be hiding something that, doesn't it? Sure it isn't though. I'm assuming there are going to be no hidden spawners on the roof. Um, but saying that, the bio lab, it may well kick out scorpions and stuff. No trap next to the lift? No. Looking okay. Sure we haven't hidden one around here. Sort of thing that somebody would do. Um, I think we're okay. Don't seem to be any trap doors in the walls either. I don't see any sensors in the room. So I think we're probably good to go down this room now. So let's do it. Okay. But the core's not here, so we have to go down again. So what I could do now is, is just take that apart and throw it all the full blocks directly back into the um, Oh, that was the CV shooting. Yeah, all the full blocks straight back in to the factory and build it again. Um, which is kind of exactly what I'm going to do if, if I need it. I've got a load of stuff in the factory still. Tech. Minigun. 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 Minion 2, that one doesn't use the combat blocks. Let's throw that in. Start production. I throw any of this stuff in? No, because it's not needed. Okay. I'll just have to go with a, a full inventory at the moment. Did I start production on that? No, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, so there's another one churning out, so ready to go. So let's um, let's see what's ready to greet us down below. Again, checking our six. Oh, is that a turret? It's a turret right there. Should be able to get that from the lift shaft. Um. Let's get rid of that straight away. Let's just get it pointing in the right in the wrong direction for us, and then I can come down and at least try and get rid of it. Let's 
this way. Thank you. It didn't look like there was anything else down there, did it? Which side was it? It was this side, wasn't it? Reload. May even have to split this episode into two. I, I I don't know how deep this place goes. That's the problem. Oh, I didn't know they were going to spawn. What have we got? Shotgun again. Is this just place just filled with shotgun Xerax? That's nasty. Oh no, we got laser ones as well. Um. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. So okay, okay. So is that their spawner there? Oh no, there's a spawner right there. So the spawner's around here. Um. I mean, I could stick a minigun right here. Clear this area. It looks like only four are going to spawn. And then I can come around and take care of these. And remember, my, my objective here, in case you forget, is to use tech as an overwhelming advantage. That's the whole purpose of this. So I'm not going to be worrying about the use of any tech at any point. So, library. Well, I definitely need to make another couple of miniguns, don't I? So this one, I should better just drop down and let it do its stuff. open that up. Let's off a bit of power into it. Pop some ammo in there. And that one's come out with loads of rocket launch. Oh, oh well, I'll lay stack with mine, so I'll grab those. How many do we need? I don't want to waste too much, you see. There's 300 will go directly into it, but you can't re you can't get them back. Okay, let's power this on. Let's see what happens. So as soon as these four are done, I've got to rush down and get rid of those spawners. Let's do it. I can hear more. Okay, let's get back round here to safety. I'll take the laser ammo. Thank you very much. And I'll eat all of your food. I can still hear more, but that, they might be below me. Um, the gun should cover that area there, so I should be okay. This section here, let me turn the light on. So we've got nothing that's going to surprise me around here. Okay, let's drone it up and see what we've got. In fact, before we do that, let's go back to our factory and stick another minigun in. Because it looks like I may be going through a few of those. Uh, 
I need some more copper. Let's put that in. Put like that. Now we're done. Start production. Um, I'll get rid of that combat steel. Do you know what I'll do? I'll stick it in the stuff I don't need in this ammo box for now. There we go. Yep. Do that. Cool beans. Okay. Right, let's drone it up, see if there are any surprises in store. Well, I walked through here, so it's just as well there were no traps. Um, because I probably would have fallen down it and died. Okay, so what have we got? Lots of medical stuff in this building. Okay, we seem to be okay for that. What's in here? Another corridor. Let's close the door just in case. We've got another spawn pad down there. So I can see another pillbox coming out just there. Um, don't seem to be any traps. Come on, just to the end of here, please. Just to the end of here. Oh, there's another door there and a lift there. in here then unlikely to be the core um, so I probably don't want to bother opening that door do I hmm what I'm gonna do is pop a pillbox right here uh, what did I need I need that don't I a library Pill box. I think I've only got two of those left in my inventory. I'm in the wrong position. Right, I want to make sure we get it the right way around this time. So I need to be sort of standing and facing. Go for that. Oops. Pressing wrong buttons. Trying out a new keyboard because I've been having problems with my other one where the keys the keys keep the movement keys keep freezing and I'm not sure whether it's to do with the game or to do with my keyboard. So just in case I'm trying a different keyboard. But I just need to get used to the um, the controls on it. Build that out a bit. Make sure they're not going to have line of sight on me through any of these gaps. Okay, we should be good with that. Yep. So I think we can proceed um, in relative safety. feel like there was any dangers in here. The main thing of checking these for will be food and ooh, noodle. I'll take it for now. Food and um and um ammo. That's what I'm thinking of, ammo. Let's check those traps one more time. No, I think we're good. Okay, what what spawned then? Mechs, by the sound of it. Again. It's the one so far. Let's see if we can see his head. Hello, buddy. I have a kind of present for you. Right, will another one spawn? Weird that only one spawning uh, in some of these. Um, 
Oh, no. <laughs> just wasn't close enough to it. Okay. Come on, show your head. If I move back, I'll see you then. Here he comes. Let's get that spawner gone. Not interested in that stuff. Um, my tech finished, so I'm going to pop another minigun in. Factory need some steel. Hmm. In that case, I shall take those. Throw some that in. Oh, really? I'm going to have to use my blocks. Oh, it's copper that I'm missing. Oh, fiddlesticks. I should have popped a load of stuff in there, shouldn't I? Got nothing with copper in. Oh, well. Um. Let's stick something else in. What else we got? Something that doesn't need copper. We really need another pillbox. Copper again. Oh, okay. Right, bear with me. I'm going to go back and take apart that minigun and use its parts for this. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Managed to get it done. Um, I should lesson learned. I, I, I should probably bring a couple of hundred of each ingot. If if you're doing something like this, it's going to be heavily tech oriented. Now I need to make sure that door doesn't open. Do I want to go in there or not? Hmm. Um, there's a turret at the end, so I'm not going to do much. I can't imagine there's going to be anything in there I need. But it's, it's worth trying to have a look, I think. It, I'm, the thing I'm thinking about is switches. If, I've, if there's a switch in here, I should have triggered. Now I'm thinking I should be able to kill that spawner from this side of the doorway without it spawning. If it does spawn, I could just shut the door and leave whatever it is. Um, but I should be able to. I can point that turret in a different in a different direction. I could be able to, should be able to get that with a plasma cannon cell. Um, the problem is having something spawns. Okay, we're up here now. Now what I want to try and do is get this turret pointed in a different, slightly different direction than me. Oh, there's actually two spawn pads. Okay. Okay, point this way buddy, point this way. 
Come on. You know you want it. Okay, we should be clearing that room now. Make sure there's no turret above me. No trap doors. No, it just looks like it's a loot room again. Don't seem to be anything of interest in here, so I'm not, I don't think I'm bother, even going to bother going in here. There are no switches. Oh, interesting. We can destroy that. Okay. That might be worth a look. Um... No, it's time to make a quick getaway in case something drops down. I'm not going to be able to get past that. It's for equipment, am I? Okay, let's get to the other side of this door. Just to be on the safe side. See what's up there. I'll close that just in case something does drop down. Don't see a turret. Doesn't mean there isn't one. This is on the floor we just came from, isn't it? I mean, how, how do we not see a door for this? There's another spawn pad up here. I mean, is this a shortcut or is this the actual way we're supposed to be going? There's a turret just there. I'm going to have a look around that corner though. A couple of guys here. That's that lift shaft, isn't it? Okay. So that's just the, the back way round, isn't it? Um, now I know they can drop down lift shafts now because we saw that in the last the last mission video. Um, so I'm wondering whether I should block that lift shaft just to be on the safe side, just to cover my back. Now, none of these look like spawners. So it looks like we're supposed to come this way. So it's got to be through one of these two doors, and there's a turret on the other side of that door. We've got a spawner here. That's the turret on the other side of that door, isn't it? Oh, and a turret there. Can you get me there, buddy? No, you can't. So if we come through that door there and take out that turret, we should be able to turn this turret and take this one from the corner as well. Um, okay, so I need some tech in that room above me. Because we do have spawn pad in this room, just there. Do we have any more? close that door just in case that turret does get a bead on me and I'd like to block that off um, so let's do that let's stick another build block in 
the genius that is the build block. Let's make it straight. And I'm also going to lock off this spawn pad. So I'll do that and I'll get right back to you. Okay, welcome back. Um, I think we covered it. Right, we've got high G on this planet, so I'm just going to eat. Hopefully, I can get up. I've got light armor on, so it should have been doable. So we've blocked off that, blocked off that spawn pad. I actually managed to block off these as well. Oop, let's open the door. There are actually two turrets behind this door. There we go. Now there are none. We'll close the door because we don't have a good look around there. We know there's a turret in the corner there. Um, what's spawning in here then? Nothing yet. That's really weird. Let's get a bit closer then. Oh, I love my cheese. Did anything spawn? No. It's really strange, isn't it? Okay, so we definitely need to head that way. I think this was just a loot room. Let's have another look at this room, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, it was just a loot room. <clears throat> so I didn't really need to do that, did I? I guess. Um... <clears throat> so this is the way with the, in, in which we need to go and we know we got two turrets in this room you look no I don't want you looking that way I want you looking into this corner here so I should be able to jump into that corner there and take out that turret. I might get a, a couple of hits, I guess. Um, it should be reasonably doable. So that corner over there. Okay. What's in the way? There's nothing in the way, is there? Well, that didn't sound very nice. Let's get that other turret facing the wrong way. I'm going to take that turret from the door and get it facing the wrong way. So far, so good. Have a look around. I'm assuming we need to go that way. Is that a lift there? Yep. Oh, I can hear some nasty creatures. Oh, a switch. Hmm. I know I'm going to have to press it, but it just worries me so much. 
It has power. This is where everything could go wrong. Um, if I press that switch and it unleashes hell on me. Let's get my laser rifle out and ready. I do want that door open actually, so I've got a line of retreat if need be. Now there were definitely no trap doors here, were there? Or hidden spawners that are suddenly going to unleash half a dozen mechs. Something opened. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, could I not open that door then? Oh, right, that switch opened this door. Okay. So there don't seem to be any turrets in this little room here. That's just all ordinary combat steel. As is all this. I think I've got a feeling we, we must be getting close to the core. Oh, we've got a big guy. That's where the noise was. Okay, I sort of half expected one of these. Um, I'm going to use the rocket launcher. I want it straight. Um, because I'm going to put a passenger seat on it again. Like I did with the last one. You just need to walk the other way for a moment, please, if you don't mind. Because I want to be able to control this, this rocket launcher. drone now do I? Okay let's jump into that and we'll do the same thing. Turret's already up, power is off. Let's pop a touch of power into that. Now it takes the same home missiles, oh no it doesn't, it's the 135 mil which I brought load with me as well. The devices, let's go into the ammo box. Should be enough shouldn't it? Power this on. Access that spawn pad gun. Well that that I expected it to take a couple of rockets for some reason. I don't know why. Oh it's a, it's a HV rocket turret, isn't it? Um, and they do a lot of damage, not like your handheld rocket launchers. So is that the core in there? Is that the core? It is the core. And I seem to be destroying these blocks. Or is that my imagination? They seem to be distorted. Oh yeah, it is. It is. That's obviously the way to get into this core then. I'm going to need some more rockets. Okay, let's... Let's pop 
pop some more ammo in this bad boy. The 15 should do it, shouldn't it? Done. Tech wins the day. Mission 4 complete and I didn't take one point of damage throughout that whole mission and I was wearing light armour. So I think that that kind of proves the point I guess I was trying to make in this one was that with the right gadgets you, you can have simply an overwhelming advantage over the pointy headed Xerox if you wish. Um, I just want to be on the safe side and just double check that nothing else has spawned down here before I fly down here in all my glory thinking I've won the day and in fact there's something hiding behind one of these because <laughs> that would be a little bit disappointing wouldn't it? No, we're clear. Okay, we're done. Job done. I can still hear some, but there are still some things spawned around the building. So let's see what we've got in these. Oh, I'll take those. Mail stack. Nice. Like I need another rocket launcher. So there we go, mission four is complete. Oh, I guess that switch would have blown it up, wouldn't it? Yeah, if I got around the back of there, as it happens. That's why these were destructible, that switch would have blown though. Oh, there's, yeah, because that's a, um, one of the explodable blocks. Cool, so there you go. Um, mission four done without a single scratch in light armor. Tech. That what that's what does it. <laughs> now I'll I'll decide before we do mission fire the farm mission whether I try it again. I might do just in case this was a one off. I might do it again during that mission um, because this is a test season. Remember, I mean I've already had a valid death, so I, I'm officially I would be out of the competition if it was if this was season one. Uh, so I might just do this again in the final mission just so, to make sure this wasn't just some kind of fluke. And that it really can be done as easy as I believe it can be each time um, with the right gadgets. So I'm going to call it an episode there. Thanks for bearing through that one. It's a little bit longer than I hoped it would be, uh, but I did need to be careful. One foul step, one wrong move in light armor, I'd have been dead uh, without a doubt. But as it happened, it all worked out. So thank you very much for watching. All right, Monster Dad. Hope you enjoyed that tech fist, and I'll see you later. Bye.